Hey guys, uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending on when are you watching this. So, um, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing. Uh, today I'm doing a DIY project on my TSX and basically what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be replacing this antenna with black and I'm going to be uh, vinyl wrapping the roof all black. Since the car is white, um, I figured I can wrap this black and then instead of wrapping this, what I'm going to do is I got a secondary um, antenna. I'll put the part number down below. Um, it's a little scratchy here, but that's okay. But essentially, I'm going to put that on there. So in order to do that, there are a couple of things that I need to do. Um, sorry for background noise. <coughs> so first of all, um, in order to do this, I need to take the roof out, right? So I took the light out, uh, the cover out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two screws out and prop the light out, take the whole assembly out. Um, antenna sits right about here. Um, and you have to be very careful because if you lean down on these, essentially you'll bend it because there is a little bow for your um, uh, sunroof as well. Um, so what you need to do here, let me make sure I get the right lighting. There are these clips in here. Um, so put a um, trim tool, flathead screwdriver. Obviously, as you can see, I did scuff it a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so here, let me get a little bit better lighting. So pull these out. Once you pull that out, um, what you would have to do is pry these and then this whole thing comes out. Same thing will happen for this side. We will take this out. Once that is out, what I need to do is I need to work with this pillar and take this pillar out. Be careful, there's an airbag behind it. I believe there are attachments here, 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 and down there. Once this come out, I can pull this down a little bit better. And what I'll be able to do is put a screw um, socket in here and unbolt it because if you go back out, you'll notice um, there is this bolt that I need to unbolt. See, there's that bolt. So let me get the camera set up inside. Let me get working and I'll go from there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is use a trim tool. Um, if you're super careful, you can use a flathead if you wanted to, but basically I'm gonna take this off first uh, on both sides, then I'll work my way up. Um, so notice this is out, so I need to pry this out with my hands and be careful, and we'll get to work. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I was able to get this off basically clip 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 down here um, clip this one is the hardest one there's the clip down here so once you get those off yank this from the sides and then this one you can just slide up but what I'm going to do now is um, like I was showing earlier we're going to take this off because you can see I got some ply in here it means um, I got some room that I can take these off so once I do So I'm on the right passenger side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this and this panel back here. Um, so basically, um, and I'll put my camera down so you guys can see it, but so I can actually work too. Um, there's a little hole right here where the screwdriver is going. You want to put either a screwdriver in there or what I was using, a trim tool and pull these out. Once you pull these out, you'll have access. So let me get the camera down so I can actually work. And I can Thank you. 
So if you look in here, I, I yanked this down. So about uh, about a foot away from the, each side, right here, and there are clips that you gotta pull down on. Um, let me show you what I mean. See this right here? And there's that clip, and there's one on this side as well, right here, where my finger is. And now what we need to do is, we need to get in the middle, right where the antenna is. Can you guys see? Um, it's right there. Um, so I need to get a socket in there so I can pull that out. It's 15 or 16. I apologize for the bad lighting, but basically um, I was able to use 11 16 and look at this um, screw out. It wasn't tight at all. Uh, now I basically just with even a quarter turn, I was able to afterwards turn it with my hand. Um, so once I do this, This comes off and what I have to do is I have to go in here and disconnect it from there. Um, so in order to get this out, this sits like this inside. Um, the clip that you have to pull, press down is right here. And this is actually behind it. So the best way to do is put your one hand in here and then one end hand inside from here and you can do it. Um, I'm actually gonna cut it to a pair um, along the line because I don't want to get it, everything wasted. So let's get to it.
So essentially what I'm trying to do right now is basically cut around the overhang right here and make sure it's cut around nice and neatly all around um, inside. So here, you know, um, I want to make sure I tuck it down good so it doesn't come off. So guys, what I'm gonna do now is the last step is, most of it's done, these little wrinkles in here, I can take it out, obviously this, I'm not a professional doing it as a DOI project. Um, I have my heat gun, I can take a lot of these bubbles out. But what I'm gonna do is go around, and if you remember, there's that rubber, right? So I need to cut around the edges, the front and the back, and the both sides. Um, so I'm just put my camera down and go around as, as accurately as I can, and I'm gonna go around and cut these edges out and see, uh, moment of truth. If I cannot do it right, uh, this will be all get scrapped. But So what I've done is essentially cut out through here, put some heat gun on here, and then all the way through, all around. Um, there are little imperfections. I'm sure you can see, like right here, when I'm cutting through. But again, um, it was a DIY project. I don't do wrapping. Um, I did install a nose mask on this car myself a few years ago when I got the car. But now, ended up doing this as well, as you can see. Um, it's pretty, it came out pretty decent. First time I might redo it again uh, by these midsummer and summer, but for now I'm pretty content and happy with it. Um, and then it's a gloss, so this matches the roof. As you can see, there's a little bit difference, but not that much difference. So what I'm doing now is basically, if you remember, I took this off. Um, I'm basically trying to put this back on here. Um, let's see if you guys can see a little better. So I'm basically tightening this back up. Um, once I do that, um, what I'm gonna do is um, go back in here and redo that. And then also I'm gonna put all these pillars back in. So let me get a little bit more light set up in here and then maybe I can set up my camera and go from there and show you guys how to pack it back up. So basically this is the nut where my fingers are. Um, I just need to tighten a little bit with my with the ratchet i've done it with a hand it looks good i'm going to plug this wire back in there uh, essentially i should be done with that once i'm done with that what i'm going to do is um, push this back up once i push this back up i'm going to put these hand, um, handles on like i took out yesterday Okay guys, so trying to put this back together. Um, well, a couple things I realized. A, this thing that goes in here, it's absolutely a pain. So I ended up taking it out. Um, and what you gotta do is you gotta pry it off of here and then basically pull it out, put this back in. Um, this is gonna go back in the hooks right here. Um, so it goes right here, like that. Um, this was pushed in so i had to pull it out a bit but then if you notice um when i pulled this off obviously i cracked it broke it so a, either i can replace it uh, with the other ones but i just don't want to feel um like going through and taking this off at the moment 
um, even though I think I should be able to. But what I'm going to do is, since this is popped out now, I'm going to try to slide it in, uh, put everything back, um, and just work with what I have here. Um, and then make sure I get everything else in there. So what I'm going to do is push this. start from this side you always want to start from this side get this in first okay this one in and then I'm gonna to try to do this if this lets me um, uh, Sorry, this angle has to be perfect, otherwise it's not gonna go in. Okay, so this is in. Now, um, I gotta get this in here. This has to go inside the rubber, so push it all the way in, and then we're gonna push the rubber back in. So I was able to finally get it on. Um, the issue was getting those two plugs in. So once I did, I was able to close it up. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, I'll leave them in the comment section down below. Um, again, this was to vinyl wrap the roof and change the antenna out on the 2012 TSX. Thank you guys.